Hey guys, um, finished doing all my brass parts and I need to do some steel and titanium now. So I really need to get my flood set up. So, uh, so far all I've got is the bin that came with the mill with 12 liters of distilled water in there. I just put it in a bigger bin because I had the idea that I'll probably put a lid on it too just to maybe help with evaporation, keep any mess contained. Uh, not sure what to expect yet, so that's the plan. And I did get the uh, Quali Chem, uh, what is it, the Extreme Cut 251, stuff everyone seems to love. Uh, so I didn't want to bother with the standard coolant, so I just wanted to try this. So for 12 liters of distilled water, I calculated I need 700 or 800 something milliliters. But I got the uh, the refractometer to do the testing. I'm shooting for seven percent, so I'm gonna. What did I get? Oh, I just bought like a dollar store measuring cup, so I'm gonna try to get the right amount in here. I don't know exactly how this pours or how well it pours, but I'm gonna open it up and then try to get the right amount in there. Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, well, I got the <laughs> right amount poured into my measuring cup. If you're wondering if it's hard to pour from a large bucket uh, that's heavy into a small one, it is, and it made a big mess. But uh, yeah, I'll clean that up later. So right now, I get to finally put this in the water. Let's bring it in. Okay. And... Everybody else has turned white when they put it in, so I hope mine does. Ooh, it does! <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Looks like milk. I guess that makes sense why other people said it was hard to film with this stuff, because it's opaque and blocks the color of the part, but that's okay. As long as it works good. Alright, so I got my hygrometer, hy spectrometer, what the hell is it called? Hygrometer? Whatever. Reflectometer? This thing, anyway. I calibrate it with distilled water. You just put some on there and look at the light and line up the cross, put it at zero. And then it says to put like three or four drops, whatever you're testing on there, and then look at it again. So, okay, so I put some on there. It looks like it's squished down good. And now it just says you look through this lens. Oh, no, that's not going to work at all. Okay, hold on, I got to look. And I'm at, I'm at rate at seven exactly. Well, I guess my measurement was okay. Perfect. Now, um... Oh, I can hook, make sure the pump actually works. I never actually tried the electronics control for the pump since I set it up, so I'm gonna try that next. All right, so I think I've got everything hooked up now. I got the hose in there, got my machine turned on. I've never actually, I plugged in the pump to the controller. I've never actually tried coolant yet, so this is gonna be new. Got the hose hooked up, the hose is on. I don't know how far to turn it on, but I guess I'll just let it go all the way for now. Aim this at the bottom, just testing it. So, um, yeah, my cabinet is still not completely uh, leak proof either. I gotta do that next, but I just wanna make sure the coolant works. I'm putting some uh, polycarbonate flaps around the edges, and I'm hoping that's gonna work for sealing it up, but I'm gonna test one thing at a time here. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit coolant on here and see what happens. It's on! <laughs> oh, why is it so exciting? I don't know. Coolant off. Going down the drain. I put in some uh, that stainless steel scrubby wool stuff in there for a filter. I can't remember who did that. I saw that on somebody's channel and it just seemed like a great idea to keep big chips from going in there. I don't think I need any other filters really. I just didn't want big chips going down the drain into the main tub. So I think what I'll do to test the bottom connections is put the coolant back on and just 
let that run for a bit and make sure there's no leaks in like the lower plumbing area. Just let that go for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. There's not much plumbing there. I mean, it's gonna drain at the bottom. Oh, and it's already leaking. The main, that main drain thing there is a horrible seal. So, I guess I get to try that again. Darn it. Okay, well, let's see what happens after I rip it apart again. Pulling on again just to see where it's leaking from, and it's leaking at the seal between the top and the bottom, like in right up in there. Probably where I can't see where to get the cock in there good, so. I'm just gonna shut it down, let it dry. I might just make a new part to fit that better. It's a horrible fit, the way that mates on there. There's no actual flat surfaces to go together, so. All right, I guess that's next. At least I'm getting one step at a time, but really frustrating. I'd like to get this coolant running properly. All right, I guess that's all for now, guys. I'll do another video when I get this completely waterproofed. Thanks.